at 96. Lord, lead me out.
much. Mm. Anybody come and see you? Well, it made me realize that, you know, there's, you're never alone. Not, never ever alone. Yeah. 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 Never ever alone. Bless her, Lord. And, Bless you know, and Bless her, Lord. 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 Bless her, I have a trouble lately being who I am because Lesser, everybody has an opinion about everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you know what? I realize Lesser, it doesn't Lesser, matter Lesser. what you think about me. It doesn't matter what I think about you. Yeah. The thing that matters is that little girl who knows yeah. that she is not okay. So instead of worrying about this whole world and what somebody thinks about you or what you did or didn't get invited to or did or didn't get to do, it doesn't matter because She's hanging over the pits of hell, and we're going to cut that string. Why are we cutting a string for her? We need to be there to help her and pull her back. And it may be not just her, but all of these. I'm not going to be the reason that Kenzie goes to hell, that Jackson goes to hell, that James goes to hell, that Caden, that Caleb, that anybody here goes to hell. And if I am, then that blood's going to be required of my hand. And I'm not going to do that. I do not want to do that. So if you've got something that you need to do for the Lord, do it. If you've got something that you want to do for yourself, stay seated or go out the door. We don't need it. We don't want it. But the thing that we need to realize is that there is a sense of urgency. The urgency is that one that's hanging there because there's not a guarantee. There's not a guarantee the next breath, the next moment, the next year. What? What is your purpose? What is your purpose for being here today? And if it's to show up to show somebody that you came, yeah, you need to get to the altar. You need to figure that out. But I'm never alone, and I'm not going to be alone because Jesus is with me always. He loves me. He cares about me, and He gave me you guys. He gave me the friends. He gave me to love me and to care about me. And I'm so thankful to be here tonight. And I thank God that I'm saved. And you know what? I I want to have another brother or sister. Amen. Several brothers and sisters, I don't care. But just know that you are special. You're loved. Yes. And God is never going to leave you. You may leave him a million times, but God loves you and he's with you always. Amen.
there's two more. Oh, 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 her oh, mom, was, well, her mom and dad went out. They went to look around. Well, I just took the truck. I just kind of backed up in a parking spot and looked out toward Cherokee. Yeah. Look at all the mountains and everything. Yeah. And all the way up there, her mom said, what a Come great on. God that we have. That he has created all these things. Yeah. Yeah. I backed up that parking more. spot and just looked out over everything. He said, hey, this is beautiful. Yeah. This ain't nothing compared yeah. to what I'm going to see you with that yeah. Yeah. Nothing compared to what this old boy accepted in his heart and life. That's going to be able to see one day. That up there is some of the most beautiful country I think in the world. But it ain't nothing. It ain't going to compare to what he's, what he's built for us. He created everything. But what he created in heaven for us is, is un. It's just flat out the best thing ever. The best thing ever. The best of everything is there. Include him. Hey, but I just got to think about the fitman. Trying to get. Trying to get the right shoe, trying to get the right fit. Yeah. You've got a choice tonight to choose the right fit for you. Amen. If you sit back in the nine, you're going to choose hell. Yeah. And Travis done sat there a couple weeks ago. You sit back and do nothing, and you'll, you'll just send yourself straight to the level of hell. That's exactly what will happen to you. You just sit back, not make a move, and hell will be your home. But you're going to put forth some kind of effort this morning tonight to get what you deserve. And you say, well, you I deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it. He died on the cross for you just like he did me. He died on the cross for you just like he did Travis. Just like he did Sean. Just like he did Marty. All those testimonies that you hear, he done it for them and he done it for you. Amen. Come on, Justin. You're going to have to make a choice tonight. Make a choice. You're going to have to put forth a little bit of effort. Come on. You know, a lot of times these human bodies, we want to be lazy sometimes. This is the time not to be lazy. You need to be proactive right now and step out and on a faith. God has given you an exception in your life. Amen. 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 Stop, tell, stop letting the devil tell you you ain't good enough. Stop letting him tell you you ain't worth it. Stop letting him tell you whatever he's telling you right now and come and get what is yours. I wasn't even here this morning, but I heard you should have got it this morning. You should have got it this morning. So it's time to start stepping up. Is it going? You going to get out of there or not? You going to step out or not? Because sitting right there, you're going to send yourself to hell. Choose the right fit. What's the right fit for you? What's the right fit for your heart tonight? You know what it is. You know what it is. You've heard it your whole life. You know exactly what the right fit is. But you're letting the devil talk you out of it. Come on, Lord. You're letting him talk you out of it. Just like with me, when I pray, what kind of looking shoes? I'd look at that. Nah, I don't like this. I'd find something wrong with every single pair I looked at. It seemed like it didn't look right, it didn't fit right, whatever else it might have been. It's time to stop finding excuses and get up here and get what you need. Stop trying to pick apart every little thing and just step out and get what God has given you, what He's laid out before you. I preached down there at the community last like Sunday morning. Yes. The greatest gift ever that you ever have is sitting right in front of you. The greatest gift ever. Yes. It ain't going to compare to nothing that you ever get. The birthdays, Christmas, whatever else it might be. No. That on, gift Lord. right there will keep giving. From now until he calls you home. And each and every time you go back to it, I guarantee you he's going to fill you full. Bless Bless you, Bless Come on, Bless choose the right fit. Yes. Choose the right fit. It'll yeah, fit you good. Yeah. I'm telling you, it will fit you good. It'll be no better, no better perfect, no perfect fit than what you'll get right there. No more perfect than what you'll get right there. Because he'll come through and he'll just wrap you up. He'll come over here. He'll he grab a hold of you. He'll just love you. He'll say, "Son, I love you. I care about you. I want you to go home with me." He'll say, "I just love you and love you and love you." And he'll be right there just to hold on to you. And then, well, guess what? When you get what you need, you turn around, you walk out them doors, guess who's going with you? Guess who's going to be right beside her the whole time? The whole time. Right there, I mean, she doesn't say she'd never be alone. Guess what? I ain't either, Jamie. I won't ever be alone because guess what? He's right here with me, just walking me out the door. He'll go with me, get in the car with me. He'll go with me when I get to the house. And I lay my head down over the night and he'll be right there with me. He'll be right there with me. Right there with me. Just to yeah, say, I love you. And guess what? Guess what? I know that if I lay down tonight and you don't see me no more, guess what? I'm on the other side. I'm going home because I can lay my head down and know that without a doubt, 
Where are we going? Where are we going? Because I chose the right fit one day. Oh, they were seven years old at Ultra Baptist Church. I chose the right fit for me. I chose the right fit. You know, I've heard testimony, testimony of people have tried for, you know, they run for weeks or months or whatever. I told you, I have to log about five minutes. All of it has been about five minutes. How many convicted in the time I got saved? In five minutes. If I had run any longer than that, I don't know if I could have done it. No. But I knew what was waiting on me. I'd sit there in, in Sunday school. I'd heard the preachers preach. Everything else said, what the hell was going to be like? And what heaven was going to be like? I knew that I didn't want to go to hell. I believe with all my heart you don't want to go either. But you're just letting the devil hold you back. Let him hold you back. You need to get up here and get what is rightfully yours tonight. What is rightfully yours? What he he can't shed it all for you tonight. Just for you. But he's seen you sitting here tonight. He's seen you. The right fit. I just couldn't. He showed me that. I just couldn't get past it. The right fit. When I finally found the right pair, I knew that that was the end. Yeah. You finally realize that he's the right one. Yes. It'll fit. Yes. You finally realize yes. that the devil has run you as far as he's going to run you. It'll be the right fit. Yes. This time to tell the devil to get behind you. Quit telling him. He's telling him to go get a drink of water. He's telling him to go to the bathroom. He's telling him to go talk to somebody else or go play or whatever else. It's time to tell him to get behind you. Come on. Yes. You come up here and get what you need tonight. Yes. Yes. Get the right fit. Yes. And then guess what? All the heaven holds can be yours. Yeah. Yeah. I can guarantee you one thing. All the heaven holds is mine. Oh, yeah. Every bit of it. Yes. From one end to the other. But guess what? I'm not going for that. I'm not going for all that it holds. I'm going for the man that created it. The man that gave it his life for me. That's what I'm going for. I'm going. I'm going I can't even want. If I go before you, you'll find me at his feet. You'll find me right at his feet just worshiping him. Praise him for all that he's done. Amen. I didn't even mean to say all that. Right. Thank God I'm saved. Yeah. Get, Thank you, get what fits you tonight. Amen. 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 Amen.
tell you, I wish you'd take heed. Just wanting to see him come and get what fits you. He's the only thing that'll fit you right. Amen. Nothing else will do. It won't satisfy you. Right. It certainly will not. There's no substitute for what he can Bless give you. Him, Amen. Because I'll tell you, he'll give you something that'll fit you. Amen. Amen. It'll wear the storms. It'll go through the test of time. Yeah. And I'm telling you, when it comes down to the end of time, you'll be glad you got it. Amen. 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 You certainly will. Because I say this all the time, Jeremy. What I got over at Luxville Baptist Church that Sunday morning, it's going to come in handy one of these days. It certainly will. Boy, and I tell you, it fits me just fine, does I enjoy it very well. Hey, man, it costs you a lot. It costs you a great deal, Mike. It costs you the debt that nobody else could pay for me to have it. I'm not so tickled to do that, but I've got it. I tell you, you'll be tickled too once you get it. Amen. Once you see how it feels to work, to have it, it'll tickle you to death through this small play of life. Just to bring that peace, angel, that you know, that you know. Amen. I'm glad I know. I'm glad I've got it. Amen. Bless him, Lord. I just can't help it. Come on, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Come on. Bless him, Lord. You've been searching, you're searching, just on, like this has told you. Yep. Come on. Bless Nothing him, else is suiting you, but I tell you, you'll find him. Amen. He'll suit you. Amen. Amen. Your search is nearly over. Come on, Amen. It's out there yeah. now. Amen. You've done put it out there yourself. Yeah. You're looking for him. And you'll search for him. Amen. 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 I think Bob's getting ready to sing just a little. Bless him. One more song. Amen. I tell you, this evening it'd be worth a trip. Amen. Amen. Come Amen. and just find him. Yes. Amen. Bless him, Lord. Bless him. Go ahead, Bob. Amen. It was a
brothers have a heart, heart surgery. Mm -hmm. yes. His name is Charles. I'd like mm -hmm. you to remember him. My sister, she's having knee surgery Thursday. Her name is Shirley. The reason I'm yeah. giving the name <coughs> is because I think you should tell the Lord the name of the people. Amen. And then I want you to remember 